Ouija Map 14 here, and it's Thursday. You know what that means? It means it's another episode of Tech News Weekly. This is only the second episode ever. For some reason, I've had more Let's Get Classy episodes, and for some reason, they're more, they're more, they, for some reason, they're easier to remember to do than this. I apologize that this is coming out late on Thursday. But, let's get down to it, guys. What tech news happened this week, and why is it important to you? Or really me, because I'm in charge here, I'm in a chair, so... Let's get to it. Some of the surprising news, at least the biggest surprise in news this week for me, was the Pebble Time Round. Now, as some of you may know, Pebble Time, or no, so Pebble in general, has been a forerunner in the tech world as one of the first smartwatch companies out there, or at least one of the first to bring it to the mainstream. And recently this year, they refreshed their line of Pebble watches with the new Pebble Time. Well, that's all fine and dandy, except the way they did it angered or confused a lot of people by selling it through Kickstarter as if it was an actual store and product, which is what Kickstarter is not supposed to be used as, so they got in a little eh, trouble for that, I guess. Also, people just didn't like the design in general and said that it was a step down compared to their previous product. That's not why the big news is. If the big news is that after all this, with even the watches being shipped later to backers than they said they that than they said it would get to them. Pebble just announced this week that they have a new Pebble watch coming out, the Pebble Time Round. For two hundred fifty dollars you're going to get a round e ink display Pebble watch. So I don't know how the process of inventing stuff happens or you know, producing quote products, I mean. So I feel like they would have had to have known about this product far enough in advance so that while they were releasing on Kickstarter this new watch that people has it's gotten mixed reactions I feel like this was already being invented or worked on and people would not have minded the wait if they would have just waited or you know told them this is coming out we're not gonna use Kickstarter because they're not even using Kickstarter with the Pebble Time Round they are using Best Buy, Target, and their own website so it's not it's just it's confusing to me why they went this route, but whatever. That's going to come out November 8th uh, at Best Buy, Target, and the Pebble website, and it's going to be $249. They're already offering a $50 discount for those who have already bought the Pebble Time on Kickstarter, and they'll offer you some deal where they'll ship you uh, the Pebble Time around, and you can choose which one you like and just send one back. So there's that. You guys can, if you're already a Pebble Time person and you want the round. It's got a huge bezel in my opinion, and I don't particularly like it. But people have said it looks exactly like a watch. It's pretty much, some people have said, I've heard Gizmodo, the website, say it's the smartwatch for people who don't want a smartwatch. So it's, it looks exactly, unassuming, you wouldn't even think about it twice. It's great. The only problem also that, in my opinion, is it's two-day battery life. And compared to other Pebbles, which have 10-day battery life, you're like, really? That's a step down. But it's really thin, so I think that's the compromise they made there. Speaking of products and tech, that's what this whole thing's about. Um, Samsung has a virtual reality headset that they released within the past year, and they just announced the upgrade today, the Samsung VR upgrade. It's going to only cost $99, which is awesome. They said it's going to work with all uh, upcoming Samsung smartphones, and I'm pretty sure you know the current Note 5 and the new ones that were just released. Uh, one of the big things is they said Netflix, Hulu, and stuff like that, the streaming apps, are going to work with the headset. So you can have a virtual reality headset and be watching Netflix, just sitting back wherever you are, uh, watching Netflix and your goggles right there. So that's cool and also a great way to disconnect yourself from reality completely. Looking forward to that, right? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Next up uh, on the list of news, something exciting to me is Google Keep, an awesome note-taking app in my opinion and the only one I really use uh, on my Android devices. Uh, it was just released on iOS. It has taken forever ever to get there. There have been knockoff apps that you can um, simulate uh, Google Keep on the Apple Store, but they are terrible. And I switched over to an iPhone for my Android phone a little while ago, and it annoys me so much because I don't like their Notes app, and there's nothing I can do. And so I'm so happy that they have finally brought Google Keep to the iOS App Store. It's just great. I'm really excited about that. Next up is more video gaming news. Uh, more, as in sense that it's the only thing that's happened video game related, but whatever. Uh, the place uh, Sony just announced a one terabyte PlayStation 4. Woohoo! It's awesome. More space for your game, especially if people are downloading them instead of using the discs. There's a lot more space for them to have that. Only problem is, well, it's not really a problem for me, but if it's a problem for you, the 
PlayStation is customized to go with Call of Duty, the new uh, Black Ops game, and there's some orange paint on the remote, and it just has lots of decals on it. So people have said it's not that good looking, and they're disappointed with the final product of a one terabyte PlayStation 4. I think it looks fine. It kind of reminds me of Nerf, I guess, and if you're a fan of Nerf, it's going to remind you of that, I guess. So, yay. Get a Nerf PlayStation 4. At least you can throw it around the house and it won't break. I'm joking. Don't throw your PlayStation 4 around the house. I didn't condone that. <laughs> also, big announcement this week, which is not really news, uh, but it's going to get in the news. You're going to see, like, if you watch ABC Worldwide News, they're going to be like, let's keep hip. Let's keep up with the kids. This is in the news. The iPhone 6S was released. Well, it's not released. It's re being released in less than 24 hours this week. So it's news. Okay. But there are going to be lines, of course. Apple's saying it's outselling all the other iPhones, whatever. But the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus are being released this Friday, so tomorrow from when I'm recording this. Looking forward to that. 3D Touch. Yay. Next up on the list is if you have been watching any form of TV, especially those that over-promote the new content they're coming out with, Blindside, Limitless, Minority Report, those kind of shows, and you're like, oh, I get it. There's a new show coming out, guys. The big news about that is that a lot of the TV companies like to release their episodes for free online for you to own so you can get into it. On the iTunes store and on the Google Play store, go check it out. Go to the very bottom of the TV section. There's a free TV episode section. You can own these shows completely free, and that's awesome. Even if you don't end up liking the shows, you own it free forever or whenever forever. So you guys you know, can use that. I know this seems short, or at least seems short to me, but this has been Tech News Weekly Episode 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't have any like funny Disney type stuff at the end like I did last time, like Mary Poppins. But hey, next week I might have some news on that. So I hope you guys had an awesome time listening to this. I hope you learned something new you didn't know before. And I will see you guys next Thursday. And if you subscribed, I'll probably see you way too many times in between then because I make too many videos. Yep, there's that. Also, check out my new video game channel, Neon Ghost Gaming. We just, me and my friend just made an intro video. And we just made a, a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to put that on the channel. It's a link in the description, Neon Ghost Gaming. Go check it out. Subscribe for boring guys talking about video games. You, yeah, just need to subscribe to see it. So hopefully you guys like that. I'll see you guys in the next videos, like I said, and have a great day. Check out the sponsor. I'll see ya.